A short BART ride and a sickening discovery. I took this picture of hypodermic needles and cigarette butts strewn across two seats. It's unfortunate it's happening for transit agencies across the country. If you see a discarded needle, first of all, don't touch it. Secondly, BART wants to know about it right away. Go to the intercom in the rear of the train, call the attendant, and tell them which car you're riding in. We want to address this as quickly as we can before the train gets to the end of the line because we need to clean that right away. BART is hiring 13 more people, specially trained to clean. It's a treatment, not a cure. These pictures show a man at Embarcadero Station. He shoots up then passes out. We want to try to address this in a long-term situation, so hopefully we have fewer people with these issues coming into the BART system. BART has teamed up with San Francisco's Law Enforcement Assisted Diversion Program, or LEAD. Two BART officers patrol looking for addicts to help. They're looking for opportunities to find nonviolent drug offenders and give them a choice that's different from being involved in the legal system. I think that that's a phenomenal idea, actually, and that it's not just about um, punishing someone for, for using the drugs, but like actually getting them into a program. LEAD is modeled after a Seattle program and funded by a $5.9 million grant. Since BART joined in October, 15 drug users have accepted help. Katie Udis reporting, ABC 7 News.